What's up, Six Stringers? Today on Nitrolix Guitar Lessons, The One I Love by R.E.M. Okay, that's the opening riff. We are in E standard tuning, okay? So we begin on open E, so... And that's just the open E twice. Third fret on that E. Maybe a slight bend. And then follow that up with an open A. And an open D. So, first part of that riff. Alright, and then after that it comes to the second part of the riff goes like this. That's an open E, the high E, and then come down to an open D. And then you're just going to slide uh, a finger on that third fret on your B string, slide up to that fifth fret, but don't pick it, okay? So, and then pick that open E again, that open high E, so it goes like this. come back to that open E, low E. See how I did that? Open E, low E, high E, and then bend that third fret on the B again. Just back and forth, uh, open E and B, back and forth, okay? So one more time, real slow, the whole uh, main riff goes like this. That is that beautiful, classic, legendary, one of the best riffs of the 80s, right? Okay, let's move on. Okay, that's the verse riff. So we're uh, open E, and then E, B, and G open, the first part of that verse, so. That's the pattern, so. And um, each part of this riff, um, you want to end on that high E. I believe it's that way. There may be some variation uh, somewhere in the song, but um, for the most part, you're gonna end on the high E. So again, I'm gonna come up. It's kind of like a D chord. Same strumming pattern, um, or picking pattern, but end on the high E again. So, so far you're at. And if you don't know, that's just open on the D, two on G, three on B, and then open on that E, so. And then back to the E again. Except this time you wanna throw in that B3 bend again. Okay. And then the last,
last part of the verse riff goes like this. Okay, and that is it's just part of an E chord, but it's open B down to open G and then down to that second fret on your D. And then don't forget to throw that uh, open E there again on the end. So slowly the entire verse goes like this. pre-chorus riff and it's just kind of like a D chord um, I guess in the beginning it's more like uh, the top of the G chord so so four times and then just lift your pinky off of that third fret on the uh, high E so you're a uh, open G and then three on B and E Lift that pinky off that uh, high E, hit that chord twice. Okay, now the attack, the, uh, the, the picking pattern is the same for each of these. The next uh, chord is the same except lay your finger down on that second fret on the G. So now you're more kind of like a D chord. Okay, so so far you're at... So that is two on your G, one on your B, and three on your E. Let that pinky up off that three again on that E, like we have been. Okay, and then lift it off once at the end of the pre-course. So it'd be like this. pre-chorus riff. The chorus is the same as the main riff. They're, they're the same riff. You just go back into that again. Uh, next we'll move on to the solo. guitar solo. Um, I think most people can hum, hum that solo out. We begin on that G string and we slide up from the two to the four. I use my uh, middle finger because I just think it's easier to go because the next thing I want to grab is that three on the B, right? So to me it's easier to use this middle finger and then my index is already there. So, so back to that four on that G. Five to three on that B. Um, you could also do it like this. I kind of do a combination of both. Uh, see how I add that open B there? Okay. And then you could do the same thing with the five down to the three on the B and add that open E there. So it would be like this. So we did a single line, or throw those open strings in. Right? All right. So after that, we go. Okay. 
so that's just five to three on the B. Land on that G4. G2 to G open G. That's just D, two open, and then back to two. Right? So slowly it goes like this. Okay, and then the rest of the solo is something like this. Okay, so I just, after I've done the... Twice on that open G. And then slide from 2 to 4 on that G. somewhere it could be or okay um, it's not real audible on the recording but that's the gist of it so I'm gonna play that whole solo one more time nice and slow so you can see it again and really get the hang of it you can always rewind slow things down whatever you need to do but I'm gonna play it one more time slow okay uh, and I'm gonna do it the single note way this time so you're not distracted with the open strings. So it would be like this. guys let's finish up this lesson by learning that outro section uh, it's a really cool outro um, it goes like this all right now I feel confident that those last three chords are correct if you uh, listen to the recording they sound pretty much dead on but the first part the by the way, is this the beginning of that main riff to slow down a little bit? The timing is just a, a touch different, but it goes. Okay, as we went over. But here, when you listen to the recording, uh, there's a layer there. There's some chords behind that, uh, a little bit of tension there. So that is. killer track. Uh, check out Nitro Licks Guitar Lessons, my channel. Uh, we've got classic rock, country rock, metal, glam rock, alternative. Uh, we love it all at Nitro Licks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.